So let's fix the application because we have copied the code from the existing service or ex existing application, uh, the monolithic application I'm talking about. So this is where we have copied the code, right? So what I will do is I will go back to my quiz service and for me also I'm finding it difficult to understand which project I'm working on. So I have to look here for the quiz service. So that will be complex anyway. So the first thing we'll do is if you look at the controller, let's solve this first. The problem we have here is the project name, right? So in the earlier one, the project name was quiz app. So that's the issue. So let's delete this and let's quickly import the things we need. So this is coming from the quiz service. And here also question wrapper, we need that. Uh, nothing much here. Let's go back to the quiz service. And here also let's get rid of all this unwanted imports. Let's say quiz DAO, question DAO. Okay, we don't need question DAO, right? So this will not be used. Let's remove it. In fact, I will not remove it. I will just comment it because there are certain things that which is dependent on this. And you can see the entire stuff here is dependent on that. So what I will do is I will just comment this entire section because we need to change this now. The reason being, uh, in this particular create quiz, when we were doing it, it was using a question DAO. We don't do that now. I mean, we can't do that now because we don't have a question database with the quiz service. Okay, so we'll saw that. And then let's import the question wrapper. Let's import the quiz. Let's import the question. In fact, this is also going to change. We are not going to, uh, so even this is basically connecting with the question DAO and this will create issue later. So we'll, solve, we'll, we'll resolve that later. Let's say responses, this is need to be imported. Here, quiz DAO is interacting, okay. So that's one and next we need to also change our DAO. So if I go to quiz DAO, any import issues here? Yes, there is an issue. Let me fix that. This is not needed now. Cool. Let's go back to service. Everything looks clean in service. Let's go to controller. Uh, here, we forgot to import the responses. Let's do that. Okay, so we have got rid of all the errors, but still it will not work. First of all, even before to make it work, we'll make some minor changes. See, here, when you talk about the quiz, uh, create quiz, we are passing three values, right? So don't you think instead of accepting three values, we should accept one object, which will be easier to handle? Something like this, let's say request a body, and let's create an object of quiz, maybe DTO, for the data transfer object, and we'll say this is quiz DTO. We don't have this class yet, but if you have this class, what we can do is, let's create this class here. So let's create a class quiz DTO. This is just to have those three values together. So what are things we need? So we need a category name, then we need a, questions, a number of questions, and also we need title. So we need these three, and I don't want to create a getter suggest for this, so I will simply say data. This will do our job. Okay, this looks cool, nothing fancy. And what, where, where do I want my quiz DTO? I want this in model, because this is just a model, right? So let's keep it there. And now we are accepting one value. But while sending it, I will send it individually. So I will say quiz DTO dot get category name, uh, quiz DTO dot get number of questions. And here we have to send title. So I will say quiz DTO dot get title. Okay, so that's the thing we need there. Nothing fancy. Okay, so we have resolved about the quiz, uh, the create quiz. But again, this create quiz is calling create quiz of service and we need to make some, change, some changes here. Uh, before that, I will also make sure, let me just check what are things we need here. So when you say, okay, let, let's try to solve this create quiz problem only. Let's focus only on one thing. So here when you say create quiz with this, uh, things are looking good, no problem with that. And since we don't need questions, let me also remove that. So we don't need these questions anymore. So we can delete that. It will create a table for us. We don't need that table. Okay, so let's get back to our service. And I think this is where we were using question, right? So at this point, we'll comment the entire section here. In fact, let's comment the entire method. But if I comment the entire method, it will create issue. So we need to return this, right? So I will, I will comment entire stuff except this line because we just need to get rid of errors, right? So this should work. And here also I will comment the entire part except this right. So this will work. 
See, what we want to focus now is only on one thing, right? Which is create quiz. So when a client is saying, so the client will be admin. When an admin says create a quiz, it will send the request to the, or it will call the quiz service. And this is where we have to code, right? So let's try to understand how do we create a quiz. Let's understand what are the changes here. The, this will be tricky now. The changes is when you say create quiz, the problem is when you say create quiz, we are initially, we were asking the question DAO which is interacting with the question database to basically create a question. But this time we, are, we have mentioned, right? We have a separate service. So this need to interact with the question service. Now that will be tricky. So our quiz service need to interact with the question service to get the question. And also this time we are not getting actual questions. What we are going to get is the list of integers. Now why list of integers is because we don't want to store uh, the question data we just want the id so when you say create a quiz let's create let's take five questions from the question from the java concept and we don't need the questions we just need the numbers so id 5 12 some, something like that will be the questions right so here i will say the list of integers i want that but the problem is this line here will not work we need to change it now change to what basically we need to call the method of a question service. So if you go back to question service, and if you look at the controller, this is what we need to call. We need to call this method, which is get questions for quiz. How will you call this? How will you call? In fact, you can't call a method. What you call is a generate method. This, this is a request, right? So from the quiz service, we have to send a request. So let's go to quiz service. So here, this line will not work. So let me just write in comment. Uh, we basically need to call so call the generate URL. So when you say generate URL, what is a URL? So if you go back to your question service, uh, if you remember, we were, we were running this multiple instance, right? So let me just run this service once just to show you how this looks like. So if I go back to the question service application, just run this. And by default, it will run only on one port now, which is 8080. And we have also talked about this. If you want to run multiple instances, we can change the port number. You can see here we have 8081 here. But at this point, we have only one, right? And if you want to say generate, the URL is actually, it's on the same machine. So I have to say HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash generate. Okay, so how do you send a request from one microservice to other microservice? So basically from the quiz service, we have to send a request to the question microservice. And for this, we have to use something called a REST template. So there's a concept called REST template. How REST template works is you can write some code here. So basically REST template is an object inside this. So if I can show you that, it's a class basically. So you can see REST template is there, a part, it's a part of Spring Framework. So using REST template, it, it has certain methods which we can use uh, to send the request, right? So it will send the request to the other, ser other server. So you can see that it has so many methods to do that. So we have to send a request to the question service. Now, the URL which I mentioned before is HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. And then we have to mention the URL, which is uh, question slash generate, right? This is a URL we have to specify. And you will say, okay, this is good. So using REST template, I can hit this URL and everything is good. Not exactly. The problem is here we are mentioning localhost. That means we are saying that it's in, the, it's in the same machine. But what if you have in some other machine? Okay, you will say, okay, we can use an IP address. But then if you understand microservices properly, we are not sure where we are running the instance, right? So I don't want to depend on the IP address. Next, I don't want to hard code the port, the port number here. How do I know on which port it is running? Right, So we don't know these values. At this point, we are at the development stage, we can do that. But when you are into production, you don't know these values. So how do you solve this problem? And that's where uh, we have to use, we have to introduce some new services. Now, this is where this is the first time we are basically interacting between two different services. And if they want to interact, we need two things. The first one we need is a Fing client. Now, basically, what is Fing? Fing is same, almost same as your HTTP web request. The difference is, it provides you something, a declarative way of requesting the other service, okay? So you don't have to hard code all the values. You don't have to use something like REST template where you specify everything. It will help you to declare what you want and what are the APIs you want to expose. I mean, what are the API you want to hit? So we'll see that. 
The next we need is a service discovery. Okay, now this will be interesting is because if you try to understand, the quiz service is trying to search for the question service. So that means the question service need to be discoverable. So it has to, we have to discover it. How will you discover? And that's something we have to solve, right? And let's understand how do you discover. So to do that, we have to use some server using which you can discover a particular API or a particular microservice. And one of the famous, there are multiple options. One of the famous one is Eureka. So it is from Netflix, which is Netflix Eureka. So we have, we need two things. We need a Eureka server and all the microservices, they have to register themselves to the Eureka server. And then one microservice can search another microservice from the Eureka server using Eureka client. So every microservice which want to search will also be having Eureka client. So they will search basically. And uh, so by doing this, we are solving a problem of IP address and uh, port number, we don't need to mention that. And with the help of Fing, you can actually request directly to the service with the service name. Sometimes we also call them as a naming server, right? That also makes sense because every service will have a name now. We don't have to depend upon the IP address and the port number. So how do you work with Eureka client? How do you work with Eureka server? Now that's what, so even before we solve this, we need to solve that. Okay, so again, I will just comment this so that it will work and we'll remove this. So even before we continue with this, we have to get our Eureka server, Eureka client and the open thing. 